All right, so we back at it with another video. The fields ended up being open today, so I'm about to film some content here because it's like, why not? My camera, I got a good ass camera. As y'all already know, I got the microphone, got a good setup, so we gonna do this video. This is gonna be a good video. Uh, I just gotta figure out how I want my video to be set up. That's the only thing. But other than that, we better get this YouTube video started. Is it recording? Okay. All right, guys. Back at it again with another video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. I have more content coming out. You don't know how to upload. We do the daily uploads. We getting it. Getting this work daily upload so i'm here this is a body game video but before we get started in that make sure you check out the link in the bio and i do hair content i do body game videos and i do workout content that will be coming soon and then also my workout content my workout plan is in the description make sure you check that out body game and lust this is definitely an important video because i don't see too many videos about it I don't know if people don't understand. I don't know if this is like hidden or classified information or this is like secret information, but that's what we're getting in today. So first things first, um, one thing for, for the body game that a lot of people don't understand, one thing is physicality. So basically what that means is your genetics compared to everyone else. Like, you know how the world, everyone's different. Everyone comes in different shapes and sizes and colors, all this. But what people don't talk about is pretty much an attraction for body of lust like how it works and we're pretty much what you have to work on what you have to worry about when you go into like the outside world the day-to-day -day. so basically how that works is everything is all visual we are visual creatures whether that be for men whether that be for women but you have to understand we are working on your body when you're getting into the gym and when you're working that perfect physique you know what I'm saying? I say to myself, when you are doing that, people are going to take notice. You know what I'm saying? People are going to be attracted just solely off of that. But basically, what things you want to look up for or things that you want to work on if you are in the gym is working on the main muscle groups, where it's like shoulders, chest, shoulders, chest, abs, uh, back. I don't know what it is, but I think on a primal subconscious level, a lot of women and even people in general take notice of that like honestly understand that your shoulders are pretty much how do i explain it it's more it's more so your antlers your shoulders are your antlers when it comes to the body and people are noticing that because it basically shows how strong you are compared to other men it gives you that v taper that's what creates the v taper so always work on your shoulders always understand that this is an important thing to have having broad shoulders just show that you have the strength and you have the capacity to lift pull push you know what I'm saying? And it's, that's the biggest thing when people are looking for either lust or like looking for body gain. That's the first thing they really, really notice on a subconscious level. The game is body symmetry. So just from even like the little things, like for my abs or whatever like that, is that the body symmetry plays a big part in that because if you can see, my abs are even. But there are people out there, I'll probably put a picture on there where their abs are like lopsided or you know what I'm saying? It's just not aesthetic in a sense. And that plays a big part when you take your shirt off. You know what I'm saying? Just from attraction level, from a lust level, it's just that it looks better. And then visually we are planning to procreate. So we're looking for the highest and best person it's for our offspring, pretty much for the children. That's a science lesson. But keep that in mind, that happens to us too on a subconscious level. And you know, when you show that either on social media or you show that on in person or you know, with your partner, everything like that, people are taking notice of that. And it's a subconscious level to be like, okay, this person is fit and this person is strong enough to reproduce, you know what I'm saying, from a subconscious level. So a lot of these things we can't control. And a lot of these things is a decision maker based on if somebody's gonna approach you, if somebody likes you, and then somebody's gonna date you. So Keep that in mind. It's uh, it's so much more than what you think. It's such uh, the mind is such a great thing, and evolution is also a, a big thing of like the biggest, the strongest, the fittest, the strongest survive. That's the thing. Men do this all the time. They're always looking to see, okay, how is this guy? This like pretty much how we call it. We call it choosing. You know what I'm saying? Women are always choosing, even from like a younger age, even in school. Like women just choose who is the popular, who is the the best body, who is this. And based off of what they think, hierarchy. Yeah, <laughs> in terms of male hierarchy. So keep that in mind. You know what I'm saying? Even if you don't think you're competing, you're competing because somebody's pitting you up against each other. And this is like a story time. 
I think this goes back even to like when I was younger. I would say like fifth grade. They created a list of like who was the cutest boys, who was the cutest girls in our class. And <laughs> I don't remember. I think I was just like, what the f Like, I didn't really understand that back at that age. But I understand people are trying to figure out who they want to get with, who they want to be with. And it starts very young and it does continue so the workplace you may look at your workplace and, okay why did this person get hired or why is this my manager or why is this situation like this or why am, is my cd arrangement this people are looking at physicality uh body hair everything it's just so much more than what you think it is and if you're not thinking about it subconsciously you're just going to like brush over it or not even take that much time to think about it but just be mindful that it does happen on a daily basis. So you are competing. You are making sure that, you know, uh, on, when you go out in public, you're being judged in that sense. And <laughs> you can't get away from it. The better you know or the more you know, the more knowledge is power of you being able to understand that it is happening to you. And it's happening to me. It's happening to all of us. So keep that in mind. I definitely want you guys to understand that. And then also from like physicality or selection, basically of being like the highest and best. Another thing that a lot of times, either women, men, whatever, selection is, uh, is height. Height definitely is in that also, um, because that goes in the body game. Like, that's just more a genetic standpoint. But the main thing is how your genetics are. So you could be tall, you could be shorter, you could be this, you could be that. But if you hit somebody on a primal level of how they like your gene their genetics to be when they're looking for like the opposite sex or whatever like that, they are interested. You know what I'm saying? They're just like, okay, this is what I like subconsciously. They may not know it. They may not understand it. But that's just a selection standpoint. And it all comes from evolution. It comes from like just being able to be create the best and highest offspring for survival. Yeah. Well, other than that, that's pretty much the end of the video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. I will be back with more videos and I will have more workout plans. I will have more workout videos. So if that is something that you like, definitely let me know, subscribe, like the video, and I will have more information in my next video. So make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. I'm out. Whew.